In the last lecture, we know the state trajectory of all agents can be written in this form. So x0 is the initial state of all agents, then times exponential identity matrix connect A matrix minus B connect BK, then we have the time T. Then xt determines the state trajectory of all agent. So in this lecture, we will, I would like to introduce to you how to calculate the matrix exponential. Then let's know the value as t goes to infinity. So we have been done many times by decompose the Laplace matrix L into a Jordan form. So let's assume here the graph is undirected and connected. Undirect and connected. Then we know when the graph is undirected and connected, so the Laplace matrix L is symmetric. And it is non-negative. It's non-negative matrix. Positive semi-definite. Then there exists a matrix of unitary matrix P inverse L and P to make into a diagonal form. You have zero, lambda two, lambda two is the smallest positive eigenvalue until lambda n. So here n is the number of agents. So each xi here is belong to small n. So the x belongs to big n times small n. <coughs> Let's denote this one by j. Then we know the L matrix. The Laplace matrix L can be written as P, J, and P inverse. We know the P matrix will be all the eigenvectors associated with the eigenvalues here. So each column P will be one eigenvector. Then we have <coughs> exponential. Let's not do exponential first. Then we know at a matrix, Kronach A, this part, let's look at this part. Okay. Then L can be written as P, diagonal form P inverse, then connect BK. Then what we can do, we can read in the other matrix as P times P inverse. Then for the first term, we can separate as three terms. P Kronach I times I Kronach A, then times P inverse Kronach I. So because the mixed product pr property of the Kronach product, so then we know it equals to 
by that matrix chronic A. Then for this part, it can be written as P chronic I, then sorry, it's P chronic I, then J chronic BK, then P inverse chronic I. Yeah. Similarly, we can use the mix product property of chronic product. Then this is P, J, P inverse, then B, K, chronic B, K. Yeah. Now we see we have some common term. Then this one can be written as P chronic I. There's something in the middle is I chronic A minus J chronic BK. Then we have P inverse chronic identity matrix. So let's consider this as one matrix. So this another matrix can be written as the inverse. Let's use the inverse form. P chronic A, then inverse. We know for exponential, P any matrix, B, P inverse can be written as P exponential b then p inverse we use this identity then we know the exponential can be written as p chronic i p inverse chronic i then in the middle is exponential we put exponential here. Exponential identity matrix connect A minus this diagonal matrix, then connect BK. Okay, now let's see what is this matrix. We know identity matrix chronic A, it will be just to multiply A matrix to every entry of identity matrix. So it will be A, A, A. So the rest parts will be zero. Zero. We minus this 
identity matrix connect BK is like we multiply BK to every entry. Also, it's a diagonal matrix. So we have zero here, then minus lambda two BK, sorry, plus lambda two BK, then lambda N BK. Yeah. So in the middle, it's a diagonal matrix. It will be A, A minus lambda two BK until N A minus lambda N BK. So in our last next lecture, we will discuss how to design the controller gain. Okay, to make all agents reach consensus.